What's going on everyone? This is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome to Tactic Testing and Instructions. This tactic right here is TFF's Zeus version 4. Now I know there's a version 5, uh, it's the newer up-to-date one, but someone requested the version 4 version, so I'm going to show them that one. And uh, I'm also going to put the version 5 download link in the description along with the version 4, just, just in case you wanted the, uh, the newer version of it. So uh, yeah, let's go on with the instructions. Right, welcome to the video. So the teams I've chosen for this test is Arsenal, Hoffenheim, Leeds and Birmingham. So a couple of very different leagues there in Germany, uh, Premier League and Championship. And uh, yeah, I think someone actually wanted a test with Birmingham or a mid-ish table championship team. So yeah, I'm, uh, that's why I'm picking them. So this is the Zeus version 4 by TFF. I've already explained that there is a version 5. Both links will be in the description for download. Um, so yeah, you can check them out yourselves. And uh, let's get on with the instructions then. So advanced forward left, advanced forward right, inverted winger left, inverted winger right, advanced playmaker left, advanced playmaker right, fullback left, fullback right, four plane defender left, four plane defender right. And the sweeper keeper set piece instructions are corners uh, defending right. And defending left and attacking left and attacking right uh, as usual guys if you can't download just pause the video uh, copy from what you can see here free kick instructions defending right and left direct free kicks small chance of shot defending left and right wide defending right and left and deep free kicks defending left and right now attacking free kicks, right and left. Small chance of shot, left and right. Wide, right and left. And deep, left and right. And finally, throwing instructions, defending right and left. Finally, attacking left and right. So that's all the set pieces and individual instructions. It's a balanced mentality. Tactical style is custom. Obviously, it's all been made uh, by TFF. And uh, in possession, attack and width is standard. You can focus play down the left and right, so it's kind of like wing play, even though you've got uh, inverted wingers. So you may feel like you're playing on the wings, but they're obviously going to be coming inside narrower. Um, so it's a narrow kind of wing play. Uh, contradicting yourself, and it might work. Um, passing directness is standard. Tempo is lower. A time wasting never uh, you've got free reign to run at the defense and your team has to be more disciplined and by that all it is saying is it will ask players to play as a part of a robust and focused tactical shape in order to make the team a stronger collective group it may come at the expense of some individual expression so this is the kind of tactic where you want them to all play in position play as a team um, and you haven't got superstars obviously if you've got superstars or if you've got that one standout amazing player they will start drifting away. Um, and, and like you say, the, the, the Messi's, Ronaldo's, they're the people that want to be more expressive and do their own thing. And this tactic's not allowing it. It will still happen, right? It's not going to be absolute certain that your players aren't going to start being a little bit more expressive, but this is just an option to hopefully cut that down. Uh, in transition, counter press and counter. Uh, goalkeepers in possession to slow down pace. So when he gets the ball, he'll slow it down. Everyone gets back into position. Then he'll continue play. But distribute to the centre back and roll it out. Out of possession, much higher line of engagement, lower defensive line, and a standard defensive width. Extremely urgent press intensity and prevent short, short goalkeeper distribution. So this is the Arsenal best eleven or chosen eleven, which I've picked. Obviously, Pepe is not suited for an inverted winger, but he is an amazing player, and I wanted to put him there. And I'm sure he'll be an amazing player for this tactic. Uh, so that's Arsenal. This is Hoffenheim, Leeds, and finally Birmingham. And there we go. Uh, a couple of these players are obviously going to change around or not be in the team at all, depending on when these players come back from injury. So, because there is four teams, again, it's quite a lot for uh, a midway through part of the video. So, I'll be going straight to the end. Hopefully, everything turns out pretty good. I'll see you then.
Right, welcome back. Bad news, I got sacked by Hoffenheim. So, I'm guessing it wasn't going great for them. <laughs> At all. Um, obviously, I'm not going to not show you this. It happens. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's always going to happen. All right, just, just a little bit unlucky. Uh, could have been a bad board, bad boss. And they don't really want me there. Something's obviously cracked off. And uh, yeah, I got sacked. So, uh, thumbs down on the Hoffenheim then. Uh, sorry, I know that a guy wanted a Hoffenheim to be shown in here. And uh, I've shown him. Shown him in the first part anyway, but not, not in the second part. Oh well, I'm sure there'll be one in the future that uh, I'll show again. And Hoffenheim will have a successful season. But uh, unfortunately, not this time. So, let's go to the next team in the Premier League. Arsenal. There we go. So Arsenal won the league, the 127, drawn 6 and lost 5, 87 points with a goal difference of 54. Unfortunately, there wasn't any players in the top 3 for goals, um, but Aubameyang and Lacazette were close. They were 4th and 5th with 22 and 21. Um, Pepe has been an absolute baller this season for, um, for Arsenal. Came 2nd on the average rate in 7.6 assists. Joint first with 15. Joint first on player of the matches with nine with Aubameyang third. And uh, clean sheets, you got Leno there, second place with 20. The good thing is you haven't got any yellow cards because you haven't got the got stuck in instruction, um, which is always good. Um, a lot of tactics do have that instruction. It does work when it's attacking, but this one isn't attacking. It's a balanced mentality, which means it's probably suitable for tweaks and changes throughout throughout the game obviously if you're losing you want to go attack you want to go more positive if you're winning maybe drop down to defense you've got that little bit of range it's not all about all out attack so that's pretty good so let's have a look at the competitions then for arsenal right then you won the fa cup and the carabao cup and the league so you managed to get the treble uh, unfortunately in the euro cup you went out against valencia and you lost uh 2-1 over both legs so that's a shame Arsenal are a great team. They should, in theory, get to the final, but it just wasn't uh, it wasn't the day for that. Uh, in the Euro Cup, though, Pepe and Aubameyang were there, and they were a couple of top performers from your team, uh, part of that competition. Uh, let's have a look at the schedule. Some of the big wins against some of the big teams. And so you've drawn against Liverpool. Always decent results, getting any amount of points against Liverpool. You beat Chelsea, uh, the likes of Man City. You beat them 3-1. Awesome. You lost against Tottenham. Uh, Wolves, they're a decent team, 3-0. Let's have a look. Manchester United, you lost against them. Then you played them twice in a row here in the Carabao Cup final, which you won on penalties, 2-0 in the uh, FA Cup. Uh, and then down here, look, you've got the likes of OL. Uh, Tottenham again, you're beating them. Uh, Man City down here, 5-1. Uh, Liverpool, end of the season, FA Cup final, 4-0. Absolutely stormed it. Uh, so yeah, some great results uh, against some big teams as well, and that that's surely helped with obviously keeping that top spot throughout the season, stopping uh, Man City and Liverpool getting some points to gain. Um, so let's have a look at your squad then. Best performer was Pepe. We knew that twenty nine and twenty nine in sixty two apps. That's absolutely incredible. Uh, he he was incredible as well. I watched a few of the games, and it's just everything seemed to go through Pepe. He was so dangerous, so quick, and so skillful with the ball, with his dribbling. Uh, absolutely insane it's amazing with the um, advanced playmakers as well they always seem to be chipping that ball over for the chip through ball doing awesome moves awesome moves anyway uh, below him you got a bam young 7.66 he got 45 goals and lacazette with 35 goals so that's awesome for them um you've got louise center back with eight goals uh, let's have a look at your biggest creators then you got pepe ozil with 15 a bam young with 10 obviously a bam young's going to get some uh, uh some assists with Lacazette because there's two strikers up front so they're going to be playing off each other and then you got Nelson came on quite a few times as a substitution one and eight uh, Tierney um, the left back six assists not not great not a lot I thought he would have got more he is a pretty pretty decent left back and uh, yeah he should have got some more uh, I know in the last game he was absolutely phenomenal so uh all things considered, pretty good. And look at the amount of chances Pepe created. 68 chances. Incredible. Uh, let's have a look at the tactic analysis then for Arsenal. Uh, in all competitions then, 116 goals, which is all right. Um, again, I've, I've always wanted to get into the 120s, 130s for, for that short, dominant amount of goal scoring threat kind of tactic. Um but you are balanced. It is a balanced tactic, and most of the games were played in a balanced way. 
Uh, so you might of score more goals if it was changed more often to attack or to positive against a smaller team and stuff like that. But total conceded is the good thing about being positive is you are not leaving yourself open at the back as much. And it clearly shows you have only conceded 27 goals in all competitions. You got all the way through to the final and won both cups, uh, domestic cups anyway. Uh, so that's a lot more games with obviously the league. Uh, you got pretty far in the Euro Cup and still you only conceded 27. That's such a small number. Uh, there's the goal locations and assist locations. Uh, for those of you obviously with Pepe doing absolutely fantastic, it's because he was also, uh, he's in charge obviously of taking some of the set pieces. His uh, uh, dribbling's awesome. I think he took the penalties. I'm right. Set piece takers. So he, it, he probably would have been chosen for the free kicks and the corners. So he has got decent high stats. Look at that. Arsenal really haven't got any proper set piece specialists, have they? Um, and then the penalties. No, Bamian uh, would have been taking the penalties. So yeah, Pepe is just all out skill. All out skill <laughs> with his goals anyway. So uh, yeah, let's go then to Leeds and Birmingham in the championship. Let's see how they did. Wee, there we go. They both got promoted, which is awesome. Uh, Leeds, I'm expecting. They're a top team in the championship. Uh, it would have been disappointing if they didn't get promoted. But Birmingham are a mid-table team. They predicted about 12th. Uh, so for them to get promoted, especially not through the playoffs either, this is second place promotion. They only just scraped on 85 points above Fulham with 83. So yeah, they did great. 97 points for Leeds, 85 for Birmingham. Uh, they did incredible. A uh, couple of players from both teams as well. In the top threes, you've got Augustin, second place for Leeds, 24 goals. Average rating, you've got a Birmingham player, Crowley, 7.36. Assists is uh, Pablo Nandez, uh, 18 assists on that right wing. Absolutely insane. That's great amount, that is. Uh, Crowley again for player of the matches, joint second for Birmingham. And Casilla uh, for Leeds, the goalkeeper on clean sheets with 25 Clean sheets, 25 games, no one scored against them. That's the, I'm hoping they're going to have a very good, uh, well, not a very good, but a very low concede amount when I look at the analysis in a bit. So let's have a look at the Leeds competitions then. Uh, third round by Brighton in the FA Cup got knocked out, and third round by Norwich also got knocked out in the Carabao Cup. So there weren't any cup competitions. They could fully focus on the league, and surely they did that. They won. Uh, absolutely awesome. Only lost seven. You play quite a lot of games in the championship. Well, very hard league to get out of in this game, I think. I've done quite a few games where I've obviously gone from League 1, League 2, whatever like that, and all the way up. And championship is the one that I'm always in there for. I'm in there for about three seasons. I always struggle to get out of it. You lot probably have a right good way out to get out of it, and you're out of it in the first season. Bish, bash, bosh, you're in the Premier League, and you're qualifying for the Champions League the season later. Uh, but no championship for me is my struggle, my uh, my Achilles heel. Uh, so it's always uh, nice to actually get out of there. Um, so yeah, we've seen Birmingham. They finished second anyway. Let's have a look at the lead squad. Your best player was Hernandez with nine goals and 19 assists on that right wing. Absolutely insane. Augustin, 27 goals and eight. Uh, another decent performer was Klitsch, 11 and four. Patrick Bamford, 15 and seven. He was the other striker. Absolutely awesome. Uh, let's have a look at the tactic analysis then for these lot. Um, goals, there we go. So, 93 scored in all competitions. It's not a lot. Um, I was hoping for more. I know that I've done a few tests in the championship before with the likes of Fulham, uh, Forest, and I've done, I think I've done a Leeds. Uh, I think they've scored more than that as well. So, it's not the best for scoring. Uh, conceded isn't bad for the amount of games you play. So 43 would have been nice to get into the 30s, like 38, 39 maybe. Would have been good. Uh, 93 scored. That's that's not great. And that's in all competitions as well. Uh, goals locations and assist locations. Uh, let's go to Leeds. Finally, uh, not Leeds, Birmingham. Uh, the Brummies. All right. So they did obviously all right. They got promoted with a big winner. The competitions. Third round, knocked out by West Ham in the FA Cup. And the second round, knocked out by Leicester in the Carabao Cup. So they then they both had hard teams to go against uh, early on in those competitions. And it's fully expected that they'll lose Premier League teams. There's not really a lot you can do about that. Um, so let's have a look at their squad then. So your best player was Crowley, 7-12. and 12. He was one of your advanced playmakers. Did very well indeed. 
it might not look very high on the stats wise but the best player so he did very well um, and then after him uh, your biggest goals obviously you've got uh is it junkowitz junkowitz i don't know it's some odd name you know me guys everyone's gonna rip me down now i've had a, I've had a few comments about my pronunciation they're having me on it don't have me <laughs> 21 goals for him anyway and then you've got another one here look magoma i'm gonna say magoma 16 and 16 and 14 on that left hand side he did absolutely amazing he was pretty much a jack of all trades creating and scoring uh, both you've got scott hogan uh, 13 and 8 the big uh big decent decent striker he's not the big one is he this one's the big one six foot one uh, and then Jude Bellingham, the wonder kid that everyone tries to get on Football Manager. Sometimes he can be absolutely insane. I've seen him at Man U. I've seen him at Real Madrid. I've seen him in Barcelona before. Uh, yeah, his, sometimes he can turn into such a great player that can you can already see it here. He can play across the whole of midfield and the whole attacking midfield. And I think he's a brilliant player. He's going to be brilliant in real life, hopefully. Um, so we see what the next game brings us on his stats and see if they uh see if they're any better see if his pa gets any better as well with obviously his potential ability uh yeah so that's the team let's have a look at the tactic analysis for birmingham then so 87 that's again pretty low considering that you're a promotion side and conceded is a lot 63 conceded that is something that how can you get promoted that's that's weird but for me scoring 87 is not a lot and conceding 63 goals let's have a look how he actually did in the domestic league so even in the domestic this is your league games now 45 league games uh well it's not counting the 46th one for some reason uh so yeah 78 goals and 53 conceded somehow you've obviously just won in the right places at the right time and and it's managed to get you second maybe with a little bit of help from the other teams below you doing worse so to me this probably wouldn't be a consistent test I don't know if i did it over the course of five six times would it happen all the time for birmingham probably not probably not but for the people that are downloading it and trying it don't forget there is a version five there's a version five for a reason and that's normally to improve it to change on the patches so uh, try the version 5 try the version 4 see which one's better let me know in the um in the comments does it still work is it better what do people prefer obviously someone wants me to test out the version 4 so that's that's what they prefer um so yeah they're the goal locations and the assist locations so that was that tactic that is the zeus version 4 i've already said it the version 5 will also be in the description to download and hopefully you do hopefully it all goes great for everyone good luck on your saves this is tucker jobs gaming please subscribe please like and i'll see you when i see you bye